You are not where you want to be in your life right now. Not because of your struggles, not because of the opposition, not because of the forces against you. You are not where you want to be because of you. You are the only one who holds you back. It's all you. You tell yourself all these lies, reasons, justifications to why you're not winning in life. I'm too tired. I need to rest. I don't have the right gear. I don't have enough money. I don't have time. Something else is more important. The day you'll start to actually make changes in your life to move forward is the day you acknowledge that all those excuses are bullshit. They're all fabricated lies to make you feel better about taking the easy road. And when you take the easy road, it'll be more comfortable. It'll make you feel warm and safe and not too stressed, but only in the short term. Long term, it'll create a nightmare. Things will begin to fall apart. But if you decide that you are willing to deal with those tedious, annoying and hard tasks today that you know needs to be done, you start paving a road to a life that will be smooth in the long term. Doing what's easy makes life hard, but doing what's hard makes life easy. Stop taking the easy approach to everything. Your life, your tasks, your goals, your dreams will be so much sweeter when you do it the harder way the way you know you're capable of doing to the very best of your ability. In order to do that, you've got to start fighting back against all those weak thoughts that creep up in your brain when you're feeling tired or lazy or just sick of the grind. You got to shut that sh down. You got to tell it to go away and replace those thoughts with the thought of what you're going to achieve from getting this task done, getting this project completed. You got to take ownership back over your brain. Stop letting the weak motherfucker in your head own you. They don't own you. You own you. You get that weakness to shut the fuck up. And you do that through execution. Execute on your mission every fucking day, whether you feel like it or not. The decisions you make every single day determine the way you are physically and mentally. When your alarm goes off in the morning, do you roll over and sleep more or get your ass up and start working? When you see that your room needs cleaning, do you tell yourself you'll do it tomorrow or do you get started on cleaning up? Because no one grows from sitting on the damn couch, from slacking off, from taking that path of least resistance, that downhill path. Whenever you run into something that you gotta do that's hard, shut down your feelings about it, shut down any evaluation of it, deciding if you'll do it or not, and just go get it done. Your mind can be your best friend or your worst fucking enemy. It can lift you up to the peaks of Everest or drag you down to the darkest pits of hell. The trick is to grab the reins and steer this wild beast where you want it to go, not just wherever it feels like wandering. No, you are the director. You are the writer. You determine the outcomes for you. You're not destined to be whatever you are right now. You've got the power to mold, shape, and redefine who you are. But it takes discipline. It's about waging war on those sneaky doubts and lazy habits lurking in your mind. Every day you fight to improve. You fight to push past the resistance. You fight to tackle the hard shit head on. And every time you conquer these challenges, you're not just completing tasks. You're building an ironclad belief in yourself, your vision, your purpose on this planet. That inner voice that keeps telling you that you're not good enough, that you can't do it, that it's too hard. That voice is a fucking liar. You gotta call it out. Every time it whispers some defeatist crap, you shut it down with a not today, motherfucker. Your comfort zone is a death trap. It's where dreams go to rot and die. Every time you face something hard and your instinct is to back off, that's the moment you need to double down. You gotta teach your mind to crave that resistance, to get off on the challenge. Start by setting goals that scare the living shit out of you. I'm talking about goals that make you question your own sanity. Why? Because when you reach for the highest, it forces your brain to stretch, to grow, to adapt. 
You've got to establish a routine that's non-negotiable, creating habits of daily execution and disciplined action. It's about a commitment, committing 100% to your goals and dreams. Whether it's waking up at the crack of dawn, hitting the gym when your body screams no, or grinding through a project that feels like mental torture, you do it. No excuses, no mental debates, no mercy. You need to wake up each day with the hunger of someone who's never tasted success. Regardless of yesterday's victories, forget about how far you've come right now and focus on what you can be. If you really tried your hardest, what can you become if you worked as hard as you could? What can you become if you impose real discipline in your life right now? You gotta wake up every single day with that mentality and then do everything you possibly can to go find out. You got to be ruthless with yourself. When you feel like procrastinating, that's your cue to double your efforts. The moment you start feeling cozy and content with good enough, that's when you need to shock your system, push harder, aim higher. This is not about being a merciless tyrant to yourself. It's about recognizing that true growth, real fucking transformation happens only when you're out on the edge, facing your fears, pushing for the impossible. It's in this space, this uncomfortable, unnerving zone that greatness is born and legends are made. One of the biggest contradictions of massive success is when people go to their moms, their dads, their brothers, sister, boyfriend, girlfriend, they say, listen, one day the world's going to know who I am. One day I will have a Ferrari, the Lambo, the Rolls, the Bentley, the big house, the cars, the backyard with the big swimming pool and an elevator. I'm going to put the biggest parties. I'm going to be a millionaire one day. Yet, instead of staying at the office on Friday night, you call your friends and you go apart. Instead of waking up Saturday morning to go to the gym, you sleep until 10 o'clock. Instead of reading the book on Sundays, you kick back and watch movies all day long. The reality is very simple. Those who win big, they do four things right. They sleep, sweat, grind, repeat. And they do it over and over and over again until their dreams become a reality. At the end of your feelings is possibly nothing. But at the end of your principle is a promise. And some of you are where you are. If you could be real with yourself, you have gotten yourself in some mess because of your feelings. We are losing control. And it's time for those of you in this room to take control. You've held up your someday. Either you didn't get the right information or you got it. You didn't use it. You're not getting up early enough. I don't know what you're doing. But when you leave, all I want for you is to live your someday. No more playing after today. And here's the crazy part. All you got to do is look in the mirror. All you got to do is deal with yourself and then we're going to get to a whole other level. Because the only one that is stopping you is you. I need you to take control over every single area and then someday gonna be your day. Excuses are for weak people. If you're gonna make it happen, get your ass up and get to work. No more excuses. No more, I'll start tomorrow. No more, just this once. No more accepting the shortfalls of my own will. No more taking the easy road. No more waiting for the perfect moment, and no more indecision, and no more lies. No more weakness. Now is the time for strength. And through strength, and through will, and through unwavering discipline, I will become who I want to be. Suffocate your bullshit excuses and go do something. Stop running from it and run to it! Stop telling me what you're going through. The greats, they get to it, they go through it. And the harder it is, the better. Make it work. Let's go. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not point fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I'm trying to tell you, you can win. You can win. Despite the circumstance, you can win. Despite the adversity, you can win. Despite the situation, you can win. Despite how much money you got in your bank, you can win. Despite the fact of your parents in your life or not, you can win. Despite the fact that you started behind, you can win. You can pull it off. No excuses. No more complaining. No more giving up. What's that thing that's going to pump you up and get you over that hill? What's going to pump you up and get you over that mountain? What's going to pump you up and get you past that disease? What's going to pump you up and get you past bankruptcy? What's going to pump you up and get you to the other dog on side? Come on, you can win! If you do what is easy, 
your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything, but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this sh It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger.